Good morning, Modern Stedders. It's Friday, and you know what Friday is. Friday is Modern Stedder Update. And look, there's Figaro. Oh, that's your eye. Figaro <laughs> photo bombing us. Man, he's saying, what are you doing over by my chicks? So yesterday, we built the floor mats for our turbo feeder and our waterer. They are working good and they are full of wood shavings because the chicks, ever since I changed out the wood shavings, have been playing with them and making a mess. So the feeder is empty of wood shavings, but the doormat is loaded. Same with the waterer. So they're doing their job. We're just gonna have to stay on top of them and keep them cleaned out. What are you doing, Pluto? The chicks are doing awesome. What do you think of the chicks? They're awesome. They're awesome? Yeah. Which ones are your favorite so far? Do you like the light ones or the dark ones? Um, all of them actually. Cause all? Because I've held one of each. And they're calm, huh? Yeah, very calm. That's what Olivia likes about these chicks so far. They're the calmest ones we've had mm -hmm. so far, huh? Yeah. They'll stay in your hand and let you hold them. But they're growing. Amazing. I'm gonna say they're about halfway feathered out So they're doing good next time. I change out the shavings I'm only gonna put a little bit in because right now they are just making a mess little linoleum Is working awesome It's so easy to clean I can get in there with a dustpan scoop it out and it's working slick Figaro Still hasn't been able to get in. Huh, Figaro? He's been sleeping better at night. I think it's because he spends all his time and energy during the day watching the chicks trying to get in, so it tuckers him out. And Pluto, she's still Pluto. Ouch. On our tomato starts so far, they're doing awesome. These ones are too. And... I, when we start our seeds, I take care of them, but I try to neglect them at the same time. I don't want to pamper them too much. So we have some tomato plants that are doing amazing. Same thing over here. We have some that have died. So I kind of, when I'm starting them, I try to stress them a little bit. I don't water them constantly. I'll let them dry out and, cause I want, I want the good plants to survive. I don't want the wimpy plants to survive because when they go outside, I don't want to have to be worrying about my plants dying because of this or that happened. I want to kind of condition them while they're in the basement and get them nice and strong. That's the way we did it last year and we had awesome success. Our tomato plants over here, same thing. We're having luck with some of them and the other ones are dying, which is, that's great. I don't want the weak ones. Pepper plants, same thing. Salary, we need to transplant them. And same thing's going on here. But we do tend to them, we take care of them. But I just, I don't want to make a weak plant that we have to be always tending to and worrying about outside. I want to grow the plants that are good, healthy, and strong. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? Huh? That's crazy. Crazy cat. And Mr. Figaro always comes over every morning to see what we're up to. Where'd you go? There he is. Before we go upstairs, I need to grab some meat out of the freezer. We made some roasted vegetables last week. And before they go bad, the leftovers, we need to cook up some meat to go with them for dinner tonight. <sighs> Let's go with bone-in chops. Excuse me, mister. This isn't the cat's freezer. This is for human consumption only. Come on. Let's go. Oops. Better put my sauces back. Ooh. 
let those defrost. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, Olivia made her first batch of sauerkraut last week, and it is delicious. Good job, Olivia. Thanks. And it is regular cabbage that we use this time. We've been using red cabbage, but so far, that's the best one. Mm -hmm. Shh, don't tell Olivia. Shh. It's good. We'll have to have that tonight with dinner. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. It'll go good with pork chops and roasted veggies. Holy snow! Holy snow is right. And I shoveled. All the way up to my knees. Yeah, and I shoveled this off last night before we went to bed. So. We probably got around eight inches of snow last night, if not more. So Olivia has a snow day today. Huh? Yeah. You get to stay home. Look at this thing. Look at all that snow. There's snow in there, is that okay? That's okay. <laughs> Our renegade rooster. Come on, Pluto. Hey, but well, we have no snow in one spot. There's Figaro. I don't know if you can see him, but he's watching us. Right there. Slow down, get over here. Careful. The snow is very slippery. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Careful. When I was plowing over here this morning, my truck kept getting stuck. Uh. Don't fall. The slide over there. Yeah. Let's hope that we I don't fall again. So they almost did. Snow made a barrier to the chicken coop. <sighs> and the chickens. They're still doing good. Chicken's got the nice dry head. What's that? You're on the chicken tractor? Oh my goodness. I think we'll have to rebuild the top of that this winter from all the heavy wet snow that has gotten on it. And the heavy Olivia. So be careful, but you should get off it so it don't cave in on you. That's our chicken coop we can build for 30 bucks. And it took it hard this winter with all the snow. Right, Pluto? And to think, the first day of spring is in less than a week. And look at all the fresh snow we're yeah, getting. I don't think that's gonna happen. No. I think we've got like six more weeks of winter. You think we got another six weeks of winter? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I hope not. Hey, while we're right here, do you wanna go check that sap bucket? Yeah. Let's go the fun way. Pluto, this way. Go You're gonna go the fun way? Okay, you show me the fun way. Oh, there you go. I think you're gonna have a fun snow day with Chase when he comes over. Yep. Shake the bucket. Is there anything in it? Frozen stuff. All right, cool. I'm gonna grab it and we'll boil it today. 
Okay. Not gonna get above freezing, so I'm not gonna worry right now about taking the bucket. You're sliding down the snow banks? Yeah. To get back to me. You're crazy. One renegade rooster. He can go in and out of the coop as he pleases, but he stays out. All right, mister? Hello. You want to go in? No? Here comes Pluto. Oh, we got loose ducks. Man. You're crazy. The animals are looking for spring too. Especially the ducks. Yeah. What do you think of the snow? Like, yeah, we don't care for it. Huh? Yeah. What do you guys think about this nice, fresh spring snow, huh? You waiting for your food? I gave them fresh hay last night, so their house is loaded with fresh hay. But now they want their food. You're covered in snow, missus. Is that grain good? Oh, we got a fresh batch of leftovers for you, too. I'll have to bring them out after. All right, girls. Enjoy the snow, your food, and your coffee. Boy, you're a noisy eater. <laughs> We're shooting on our Canon G7X again. We had to send back our Canon 70D to get re-repaired at Canon. We got it back, the audio jack was still janky, and then I kept getting an error code on that. So that's in the box ready to go out to UPS. It was supposed to go out yesterday, but UPS didn't show up yesterday with the snowstorm we got. So hopefully they'll be here today, and maybe we'll have our camera back in a week, week and a half. Fingers crossed. I wonder if this bucket's got any sap in it. Yep, a little bit. Whoa, I almost fell. Whoa, yeah, I almost I fell again. <laughs> Pluto, go. Pluto, go. Come on, Pluto. Get down here. Oh, Pluto, come on. Oh, it's ripped to my trap. Ah! Oh, that oh. was fun. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to go check on Olivia. She's bringing the other two buckets. Are you coming? What? They're too heavy, they're frozen. They're too heavy? They're Will it help if I take one? Sure. Let me take the lightest one. You want the lightest one? Probably this one. No, this one's the lightest one. Okay, I'll okay. take this one. Go yeah, this one's kind of heavy. Good job. That was a lot easier, thank you. You're welcome. So, eight out of the ten trees produced some sap. I'll have to crack them open and get them in the bucket, but first I gotta do some shoveling. There we go. Man, we got a 
lot of snow. It just fell off the roof. I wish I would have caught that on camera. That was pretty neat. That's what we're gonna. That's where we're gonna end today's video. I know it's kind of an odd place to stop, but we had so much footage. I wanted to do our normal Friday update, and then we just had a great snow day. We finished boiling sap. We did a little bit of. I can't give it all away because I'm gonna finish up today's video tomorrow. I think if I let it all go in one video, it'd probably be like 40 minutes long. That'd be like a movie, and that would be crazy. So tomorrow, I'll finish up today's video, and then I'll put a little bit of our new stuff in for the day. But I wanted to make sure I gave it, that we got it off. We had a good time. We normally don't have a snow day, and I don't normally get to spend a whole day with Olivia. The only way it would have been a better is if Gina was home. But she had to go to work. Man, between school and work and paying bills. <sighs> never ending but that's all right so thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us today if you're new to the channel now's a great time to subscribe and remember we'll be right back here tomorrow at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom bye